A first listen to Hotel California by the Eagles. The Eagles are an American rock band formed in Los Angeles in 1971. They are one of the quintessential American rock bands. They're influenced by 1960s rhythm and blues, soul, bluegrass, and rock bands such as the Birds. I was suggested this track from my live stream from one of my uh, Twitch viewers. And so this video was recorded during that live stream. So the video format is a little bit different. Now, this is the track Hotel California. It is one of their signature songs and is considered one of the greatest songs of all time. Uh, I knew a little bit about this song and I've heard little sections of the song because it's a part of pop culture in movies, etc. But I had never really sat down to take in the music and the lyrics. And so that's what I did on this reaction. So let's get into the music. This is a reaction to Hotel California. I've also got the lyrics up to help me follow along with the track. And I also have my Twitch chat with me. So let's get into this one. Oh, what a beautiful intro. Wow. Okay. Wow, okay, I'm gonna pause it there. I usually stop it at the end of the first verse and give my initial takes. What a brilliant and beautiful start to this song. Now, the vibe that the instruments have set is of a very hot, humid night uh, car journey, you know, and it has a very, let's call it uh, a South American feel to the instrumental so far. And then you have these lyrics. Now, this is quite a esoteric verse because He's traveling through a dark desert highway, as I was saying, and he ends up at this, this place, right? I'm guessing this is the hotel he's speaking of and where there's a mission bell. So this is, I'm guessing, a like an old school sort of missionary kind of place. And there's a woman standing at him at the doorway who seems to be offering him something and he bites, he takes it on. Um, interesting, interesting. I wonder... I'm sure the woman is representing some kind of metaphor to him, maybe greed, excess, something like that. And hopefully it will unravel as the song goes along. So let's keep this going. I'm going to back it up once again. Okay, as Jay is saying, he doesn't, he's heard this before and he has no clue what it means. And I totally understand what he says. This is a very, um, it seems like a very metaphorical tale where there's perhaps no one meaning. But as I was saying with the first verse, this woman who has this lovely face is presenting him with a deal. But it seems to be a double edged sword because the way he's delivering these lyrics and the way the music is building up, it seems like what she's offering is perhaps not something he should take. And this deal is something that's 
ready for him any time of year. So maybe this is a sort of warning, a tale to people that there's always an option to take um, the wrong turn in life, to make a deal with the devil in a sense and end up where you probably shouldn't be. A uh, very cool start to this thing. Let's back it up once again. Boss. She got a lot of pretty, pretty boys. Ooh. She calls friends. How they dance in the courtyard. Sweet summer sweat. Some dance to remember. Some dance to forget. So I call up the captain. Please bring me my wine. Okay, awesome, awesome two verses there, man. This first bit, I have to say the writing in this thing is absolutely exceptional. There's a tale being told, but he's sprinkled it in with some really, really witty lines. Her mind is Tiffany twisted. So this is, I mean, I'm guessing he's speaking about the, the very high-end brand of jewelry we can buy. I think it's called Tiffany, right? She got the Mercedes Benz, which is a, another great double entendre. You know, when you have the Benz, it's when your mind's kind of uh, in a crazy state. She's got the Mercedes Benz. So to me, as Ziggy is also saying, this is sort of a message, a warning about excess, right? This woman seems to be presenting the idea of uh, your life can be anything you want it to be, uh, you could life, excuse me, can be very happy if you got all these material things in your life. However, it is a very double-edged sword because she seems to have plenty of pretty boys who are dancing in this courtyard with her, who seem to be have caught up in this spell. This woman is kind of like a, a succubus or a siren, you know, calling you in. But then there's what comes next too, right? I love it so far. Oh. Mirrors on the ceiling, they pink champagne on ice. And she said, We are all just prisoners here. Wow. And in the master's chambers, they gathered for the feast. Mm. They stab it with their stealing eyes, but they just can't kill the beast. Wow. What an awesome, awesome line. They stab it with their steely knives, but they can't kill the beast. Okay, so to me, what that represents is the idea of uh, having some kind of addiction or some kind of dark nature inside of man, which you can't seem to kill, even when you try. And I missed this early part, which I didn't catch. I only saw it afterwards. So I called up the captain. Please bring my one. What do you think he's talking about here? He said, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. The way I take this is the idea of this person, this guy, the narrator who's speaking, has come to this uh, sort of crossroads too, right? Where he's being offered um, fame and all these lavish things that come with the idea of success. But this guy's special, right? We haven't had this spirit here since 1969. This is a strong man. He can resist it. He can say no to all these things. However, I wonder if he ends up being able to say no as the story sort of unfolds in the end. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, what a line.
my god goodness dude there's so much to be said about that song so much to be said about the song we've got people sort of giving their takes on who's had the best solo i mean that's definitely one of the best i've ever heard um okay let's talk about the conclusion of this thing right if we're going along the lines of this was a tale a of a person who seems to be at the crossroads of success and presented with the idea that anything you can have is here for you, but you can caught, get caught up in this web too. He gives in, eventually by the end, he gives in. Look, look here, last thing I remember, I was running for the door. He was trying to get out, hard to find the passage back to the place I was before. I wanna go back. I feel like I've gone in too deep. Relax, said the night man. We are programmed to receive, not, not, output where we only take them in you can check out anytime you like but you can never leave wow the addictions of fame and success and everything that comes with it you cannot leave behind and what i think is awesome about this song is the way they set it up in the beginning you know it's such a cool vibe atmosphere it's almost unsuspecting that this guy ends up at this place he's like what, what can go wrong here there's a beautiful woman with a lovely face and boom he's caught up in her web awesome track and musically i mean you got people here i think um it was ziggy who said it's uh, felder and walsh's duet was epic so there's two guitars going off here at the same time wow awesome awesome they were kind of battling for each other almost signifying like when someone is battling with their own urges trying to get themselves out dave dave's agreeing yeah awesome solo for the two guitars gotta agree man this is definitely up there for solos i've heard awesome track man two thumbs up dude i that guitar, that guitar solo was fucking brilliant, man. Um, I'm guessing, right, Hotel California is the peak of the Eagles' um, sort of success. So maybe the the song came at the perfect time where I think I know this, the lead singer's name. Is his name Don Henley? Don Henley was probably struggling with this idea himself, right? Uh, coming at the crossroads of the peak of your success and you've stepped too far into it and you can't get out anymore. Um, a message to us all, I guess. A great message to have. Um, okay, I guess we're doing tool next. Tool 46 and 2. Um, I think I need a little second before we get into this next one. That was fucking awesome, man. You're treating... 